C-SPAN Chairman and CEO Brian Lamb interviewed current Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels Thursday in Fowler Hall. The interview was in celebration of the naming of the Brian Lamb School of Communication. To tell you the truth, uh, it ended up being a conversation among probably two or three people about who would be the most appropriate person for Brian to interview. We wanted to interview someone clearly with Purdue uh, connection or Hoosier, Hoosier, Indiana connections. And the governor was in the news. This started actually three months ago. Uh, we, didn't ha we had no idea about the book, to tell you the truth. But so the timing was absolutely amazing. So I think that if you really looked at it, here was a person who's been co being considered to run for president of the United States. At the very least, he's probably being considered at the moment for a cabinet position or will be by some of the others. He was coming to the end of his uh, career. He'd been a Washington individual, but still with, with Indiana, close Indiana connections. So he was at the top of our list for people to interview. So we were thrilled when he said yes. Daniel's interview was centered around the release of his book titled, Keeping the Republic, Saving America. Students asked questions after the interview about Daniel's new book and political views. Governor Daniels, my question concerns the capacity of self-government discussed in your book. What obligation do we, as a sovereign state of Indiana, have to, have to provide affordable health care for the members of our state who cannot secure affordable health care for their families? Yeah, Marissa, I think it's, uh, obviously I think it's important because we created such a program called the Healthy Indiana Plan. I discuss it in the book. And, uh, you know, as recently as uh, this morning, a lady coming through the line um, um, almost tearfully told me how much it has meant to her daughter, I guess it was, and her family to uh, have the peace of mind of health insurance when they didn't before. Folks who say that this is too complicated, uh, the average citizen just can't cope with health care, or by the way, uh, um, can't uh, be permitted to choose what credit card or mortgage or light bulb they will uh, select. Uh, I think you're selling people short. And we are seeing very effective consumerist behavior in the low income uninsured program called HIP and in our state employee program. Double digits below, cost, the cost to them and to us is double digits below the standard program. So yes, I believe we've got to find ways to um, give everybody this protection. And as we do, I hope we do it in a way that shows confidence in people's ability to look out for themselves. Um, incidentally, I think it's the only effective way, it's an indispensable element of getting costs under control for us all. I always say we'll never have cost control in healthcare until all of us are cost controllers. I particularly liked the students' questions. I thought they were well prepared and had substantive questions, serious questions. And some of the time, my questions were less than serious yeah. because I wanted to have some kind of a balance in the interview so it wasn't all serious all the time. But uh, I thought the, the, the governor seemed to enjoy a stop here. You know, he's mm -hmm. selling a book and talking about uh, what he believes in. But uh, it was fun to watch the students. For me, this experience is just an opportunity to share what I've learned, what I've done, in hopes that maybe they can pick up some ideas and make it just a little bit easier for them. Right.